Reverend Pat Fallon's fierce critique of Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle underscores a significant call for accountability and leadership, the essence of authenticity, and the profound human impact of bureaucratic failings, particularly in high-stakes scenarios. You know who the shooter knew? The shooter has visited the site two more times than you have, and he had a drone, and he picked the AGR building. So you said, do you remember in an ABC interview you did that you didn't have people on the roof of the AGR building because you were worried about safety because of the slope? I recall that statement. Okay. Does the Secret Service have written policy you can share with us about slope roofs? No. Okay. So why'd you act like there was one? Because is it your practice to comment on enormous uh, events of enormous national implications when you're ignorant of the facts? That's rhetorical. So here's this thing with the slopes. You go all up to like 1812, you can go to a 112, which is about as flat as you can get without it being completely flat. And you're saying that there was a danger, uh, safety concern there. But the problem is, Director, you put your counter snipers on a 312 roof, which is steeper than the 112. And by the way, the 112 is ADA compliant. You can build a, a ramp for a wheelchair on a 112 roof. So these are nothing but pathetic excuses, and they make no sense, and they're a bunch of cow dung. All the law enforcement I've spoken with over the last nine days are amazed that the AGR rooftop was not secure. You want to know why? Because it's dangerous. I have never had any long gun training in my life. I own an AR-15, and I, last time I shot it, I shot it one time my whole life. It was six years ago. That is until Saturday. We recreated the events in Savoy, Texas. We recreated what happened in Butler. I was lying prone on a slope roof at 130 yards at 630 at night. And I knew that he had a scope. I didn't know what kind, red dot, or magnified. So I shot eight rounds from both. You know what the result was? 15 out of 16 kill shots. And the one I missed would have hit the president's ear. That's a 94% success rate. And that shooter was a better shot than me. It is a miracle President Trump wasn't killed. Corey Compatore's life is over because that damn shooter made it on the roof. And it wasn't the roof that was dangerous. It was a nut job on top of the roof. You know what else is dangerous? I believe your horrifying ineptitude and your lack of skilled leadership is a disgrace. Your obfuscating today is shameful. And you should be fired immediately and go back to Garden Doritos. Mr. Kevin, I'll yield back. Pat Fallon's impassioned rebuke of Kimberly Cheadle emerges as a crucial and justified reaction to the glaring negligence and ineptitude witnessed in the security service during former President Donald Trump's tenure. By emphasizing the critical values of responsibility and robust leadership, Fallon's comments demand swift action and accountability from the security director. His pointed criticism of decisions, especially concerning rooftop security, Spotlights, a failure to prioritize safety effectively, serving as a public call for stringent measures from government agencies and enhanced leadership. Focusing on themes of responsibility, authenticity, and human conditions, Fallon's discourse reveals the stark human realities behind his words. His evident anger serves as a plea for those in power to genuinely own up to their actions and decisions. By highlighting the tragic loss of life and potential catastrophic outcomes, Fallon's argument positions human existence against the absurdity of bureaucratic excuses amidst clear and present dangers, highlighting a disconnect from true human experience and responsibility. Fallon's remarks are crafted to stir powerful emotions such as anger, frustration, and urgency. Personal anecdotes about his experiences with gunfire add a personal touch, helping the audience empathize with and feel the gravity of the threats and failures described. This narrative strategy aims to galvanize public opinion and exert pressure for immediate change. Fallon appeals to his audience's sense of betrayal and urgency, advocating for a higher standard of responsibility and leadership. He judges the Secret Service's actions as not only incompetent, but recklessly so. The public's reaction to Fallon's critique is likely to split along partisan lines. Those already critical of the current administration or who support Donald Trump will likely resonate with Fallon's condemnation, feeling their anger validated and demanding immediate corrective actions against the Secret Service director.